Hi, welcome to my video. This is about the best smart DNS service I've found and I'm going to show you pretty quickly how to set up smart DNS and how it works. Um, now, smart DNS is a, a, a great new technology that allows you to access sites that are normally blocked based on your location. So I'm normally restricted from accessing any US only sites uh, because I'm in the UK. Um, I basically mainly use Smart DNS at the moment um, for watching Hulu and for accessing the um, American version of Netflix. I occasionally um, access the Canadian version as well because it's got some different stuff on it. Okay, well what happens normally to me when I'm trying to access um, an American-only website like Hulu? What happens is this. Let's go here and let's go and try and watch Top Chef on Hulu. Let's click play and I'll get this message. Um, so basically that it can only be streamed within the United States. There are thousands and thousands of websites. I'm sure you found them that work like this. Loads, all the best UK TV sites work like this. If you're in the UK, you can watch them. If you're not, you can't. Smart DNS gets rid of all that. It doesn't matter which country you're in, you can watch virtually anything. Um, the sites have to be set up, so if you occasionally find one that doesn't work, um, you can usually email them and they set them up without a problem. Smart DNS proxy does that. You you might have a sort of 12-hour turnaround, but they're usually pretty good about this. Right, let's show us how to set Smart DNS up then. I'm using Windows 7, um, so it might be slightly different from you, but basically we're getting to our network settings. Um, go to Network and Sharing Center, it's called here. Uh, for Windows 7, you need to click on the local area connection. It'll be very similar in other versions of Windows. Uh, Mac um, is slightly different, but uh, Mac users probably know where it's all set. Um, t -t -t I'll click on Properties here. Here I've got the IP address information. Yours might be slightly different here. You may have Obtain an IP address automatically set up here. I, I set mine manually. These are internal IP addresses. You can't hack them, so... Um, <clears throat> they're not accessible from outside my network. Uh, this is my router. Uh, at the moment, I've got my DNS set as a router. So you can leave the top bit. What we what we need to do is simply set a smart DNS server instead of our normal one. So we may need to change, use the following DNS server addresses. Yours might be set as obtain it automatically, but we need to override that. You've got to put the, the smart DNS server in here. Okay, so I'm going to put in the server address. Um, now, just having the address isn't enough. You need an account and you need to register your IP address on that. It's all done through a web page and it's, it's dead easy to do. Uh, I'll show you at the end of the video if I get a chance. Okay, to, so that's it. That's enabled, 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 enabled. Right, I'm going to have to do something a bit techy here flushing the DNS cache. That's only because I've just shown you and I've changed in between. Uh, I basically, because I put a changed a new DNS server, instead of rebooting, I've just flushed the cache so it doesn't use the same address as before. And I'm going to go back to Hulu. Right, I'm going to go back to Hulu. Because I've flushed the cache, it'll use the smart DNS server now. Um, so I'm going to go back. Um, before I couldn't access this site, and let's go and play it and see what happens this time. Um, this time you can see it will stray. It will go in perfectly. It's asking for adverts. It'll play the adverts just as any. You, if you have Hulu Plus, you won't have the adverts. But um, you can watch all the free stuff, and this works for ABC, Netflix, NBC, all the US-only websites. Or if you're already in the US, it works for all the other. Um, websites you can watch Canadian TV, French, all the British TV stations, everything like that. It's dead easy to do. All you need to do is set your IP address, uh, set your uh, DNS server there. It's great because you can set it on phones or um, tablets or even on your router. If you make the change on your router, it basically affects everything on your network. Okay, I'm going to leave it now um, because the video is getting a bit long. You can get Smart DNS Proxy from the link in my video. Um, there's a free 14-day trial if you want to use it. You can get on, see how you get on with it for two weeks. Um, and then it's a few bucks a month um, rental subscription, rather. Okay, well, uh, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching my video about the best Smart DNS service. Thank you. Bye-bye.